hoping to join the 700 who've already secured a job. Over 100 of them came straight from Reading's dole queues. People like Ishmael here, unable to work after a serious motorcycle accident. I had a skin graft so I could put it on my hand so they could build up the tissue. There was not. When he returned to fitness after multiple operations, there simply weren't many jobs to be had. I struggled to find work. There's no work around at the minute. And another thing was confidence, building my confidence up to get work. And it's hard. Unemployment in Reading at 3.4% is less than half the national figure, but the area close to the new site is hardly the most prosperous corner of the town, so the opening is a welcome boost. They are making an effort to recruit locally, and they are good jobs, well paid, there's lots of training, but you don't have to have a degree in computer engineering. You can go in there and you can take your career as far as you want, whether you want a part-time job or you want to go on into management. So the first pallets have begun to arrive here, but look around, you can still see the place is largely empty. It's going to take 15 weeks before it's full up, and there are around 800 lorries arriving and leaving here every day. You're going to see hundreds of people um, working um, right throughout the distribution centre, kind of tipping on goods in, forklift truck operation, assembly. So it'll be um, a hive of activity. Some of those people were today getting a taste of what their working day will entail here at Tesco's largest ever distribution centre. The biggest boost to employment in Reading for several years. Joe Campbell, BBC South Today, Whitley.